Capricorns, the Thorda mm-hmm. figure, the one who's the best listener, but they don't like a lot of talking, but they'll listen to everything you say. Because anything you say will be held against them in the court of a Capricorn's mind. <laughs> and they're stubborner than a Taurus because they will not budge whatever they're trying to do. Even if it's irrational, but no budging. If they're like an animal, you try to train them. But they're super good at school, like straight A's plus, but they're not very good at socializing because they're hermits. They don't want, they talk themselves out of doing social things. But they're so beautiful because they look like goats. They're the most pretty sign I think is so sad. They're so responsible. But then again, they can be contradicting in a way too, like almost like Virgos, but they can go to college, pass it, and then just make themselves homeless because it says, screw this, I'm going to do it this way and all this stuff. And I don't want to share. They, they will treat you with, like, I'll buy you a car. Look at my expensive watches. Look at my expensive shoes. I'm a Capricorn. Is that how you're in? Yes. You are. <laughs> I can explain a lot more to you. I've been a Capricorn for three years. Okay, it explains. And okay, um, a Capricorn. They rule the reputation in the career, though. They have the biggest ego you will ever see. <laughs> they never think that they are wrong. Wow. Anything that you accuse them of, they will turn it back on you. They are the biggest liars. They can literally, they, but they are the best oh. actors, I oh. promise. They lie so good, you will believe it. They can lie to you, and you will not even think twice about it. Scorpios are the best convincing liars, actresses. But me and my Scorpio and Mr. Art, it's very serious about everything. <laughs> serious um, and okay. They just, they're, they're self-centered. They only care about themselves. They have no remorse for anybody oh, else. It's all about them, them, them. <laughs> they're just, they're just... <laughs> Horrible people, <laughs> honestly. No, probably not all of they them, but be. some of them, them, they just, they don't yeah, have the best attitude on things. Oh. And they start something, and if it's a bad habit, they will not let go. They will keep going until it just well, yeah. gets uncontrollable. They can't let go of their bad habits. They cannot. Right? Like and they won't accept anything that's good for them. If, some, if somebody tries to treat them right, they automatically will make a reason on why it's wrong. Oh, my God. I was right. I said you had moon in Scorpio. I was right. You got moon in Scorpio. What does that, mean? that means like your inner self and your mind and your emotions are um, moon in Scorpio. You would be a good detective and a good stalker and a good reporter. You I am not the police. Never the police. No, I meant stalker. No, I could definitely find like somebody you, who like ripped like me a, off. If you're interested in somebody, you would um, like add all their friends on Facebook. <laughs> no, I, I. But if somebody ripped me off. I would find out where they live by looking at all their friends and looking at yeah, all their pictures. There, there you go. And that, find... that way, something like that. And it's just cool. Your Mercury is in Pisces. That's how you think you communicate. So you got this Pisces thing going on. You can like some language of heaven. You can be psychic. Hello. And you're, you can be compassionate, sounding, and all this good shit. Definitely Link three. Yeah, duh. Yes. Your Venus is in Aries, which means you're kind of alone because you are left with yourself because everyone in your life just keeps on being a flash in a pan like coming in and out and then you're just left with yourself and but you love yourself and then um you took me a while to love myself though you you look for other people that are leaders and uh, more aggressive and like you know get to the point kind of stuff and heroic and all this bullshit and i help them (laughs) yeah you would be the hero you would be the leader in the in the as an underground leader of the people let them bully their way up that screws me over in the long run it has lately <laughs> right, that's right. That's how it is. You have to realize these things about themselves because, like, how the fuck can they do anything kind of? Mm-hmm. If everyone's dumb. Okay, your Mars is in Gemini, which means you trap people in a conversation like they just can't get out of it when you're mad. Like, you'll say something and they just can't leave it. Like, they just can't leave the yeah. storytelling or the lies that you tell. Cause, I don't tell lies. Or the storytelling, <laughs> the trick, the tricksing people, the I, trickster, trick people. I mean, yeah, I can trick people. I definitely can manipulate them. Yeah. Um, you are moon and Scorpio, they're moon and Scorpio. And desire it all, and vibe it all. <laughs> and I feel like, I think they tend to feel like I'm Mars, right? But I'm not. <laughs> all the time. Though. Your Jupiter is in Gemini, so you're lucky. This is the time of luck and everything. Your expansion and higher learning. So you're really good at communicating and being informative and all that stuff. And with your hands. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, your Saturn's, <laughs> in Cap- your Saturn's in Capricorn, which means it's your reputation. And um, your career is... And stuff is hard, and that's your restriction. And, and your your dad made you grow up fast. Your mom was like dead or something. Yeah, she was very, very childish, very psycho. Oh right, 
Very intense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your little lift has been Libra, so you're proud of your relationships, and you are uh, proud of your beauty, and you uh, are balanced and all this good shit, but people don't want to see you in a relationship. People don't want to, but you do it anyway, so you're proud of it or something. <laughs> well, you know, I don't think that, um, I think when I get into a relationship, I really can't see myself doing it. Because I, yeah, definitely. Sounds romantic. <laughs> no, not at all. Your North Node is in Pisces. You came here to learn all that stuff. You already accomplished being Virgo, like day to day routines and OCDC and perfectionist and being a server to everybody, humanitarian kind of person or whatever, mm -hmm. and living to your own abundance and being a farmer <laughs> or something like that. No, yeah, I really want to. Eventually, I don't want to use any kind of electricity because I've always yeah. agreed to the, the whole way that they need electricity because yeah. I just charge way too much. And one, I like would love to be self sufficient and not have anything to do with the government. <laughs> yeah, very Virgo and cool. Good balance, those two. Now it's time to be spiritual and psychic and all the good stuff. And that was that. <laughs> that was it. That was a little ask for person. What am I doing? I'm doing the Leo Moon and Pisces. Your your mother. I'm gonna just repeat myself. Your mother. Um, so Jennifer, she'll love you. How to for, learn forgiveness through your mother. She's probably either early residual or something ridiculous and delusional. But she rather take drugs or alter, alter something like that, like even alcohol, than take responsibility for you at, at most times or whatever. But your Saturn's in Gemini, which means you might have lips, lungs, problems, and hands problems, and also transformationalism, and mind problems. But the thing is that your dad probably tells you to shut up all the time. You, and you have this knowledge of information that you could give to other people, but it restricts you on doing this. And it, and um, it also means that you could be a public speaker and it could give it you the opportunity to be this awesome public speaker and community person, and um, but it could take it away from you just like that for no reason. All your communication skills and all this bullshit and have you problems, just restrictions with your, yeah, with everything that rules ner your nerves, like Gemini's and the hands and smoking is bad. You learn chart, bad lessons on this bullshit because it's giving you this thing to be your venus is in virgo so that's what you're looking for in relationships you're looking for somebody who's quite like a virgo doesn't mean you're so looking for a virgo but like it's like you act like a virgo in a relationship too so you serve the other person you do things that should be appreciated that you might they may not notice about you you might be critical of your relationships you want to be with somebody you can live around day to day it doesn't matter if they're ugly fat ugly mean skinny um or uh, a problem like mental illness as long as you can be around them every day that's what you want <laughs> that was great. and then your mars is in leo this means that if your pride and ego is messed with you are mad other than that you don't want to be mad because you want to express yourself but you will cause drama everywhere you go you will cause a scene you will cause a story to happen in your life Perfect. like the story of your life is everyone else's story and they revolve around you and you'll get them that way and you will get the attention no matter how you crave it where you get it you'll get it if you're good or bad, it's going to happen. That's why you're your Jupiter is in Cancer. This means that you can put anybody and make them your family. Jupiter and Cancer. You're just like Taylor Swift. All her songs are about you and your song. That's basically how your song is. With your, your everyone. You can make, okay. Your Uranus is in Aquarius, where that's home as each other with each other. So you are like, it's the polarity of yourself and Neptune in Aquarius as well. Your psychic ability is mental. You turn your mental ability on. You can be psychic and very intuitive as fuck. And um, you're already used to being, like, ex knowing what it's like to be an outcast and a friend and treat everyone equally. And knowingly that you don't want to judge them in a wrong way. You want to equally treat everyone the same. You already knew that. Okay, then your Pluto's in Sagittarius. The way you isolate yourself is to be studying and studying and trying to learn and going to adventures and traveling. And what you can do to everything. escape. What you can do to escape and have secrets about is... That adventurous gambling with life to you. I have a Cuba gambling problem. And I yes. am. <laughs> and then you have Lilith and Aries, which means it's now or never. You live in the moment. And you're the only one that knows how to create a moment for other people to live in. Like a wonderful hero and a leader is what you want to be. And what you have to rebel to be because you have to lead the show because it's you're on your own. Everybody else is like treading. They're not really following anything that you're doing or nothing. You have to follow make them be the follower of what you're doing. Because they don't know themselves as much as you do. And they're mad about it. And then your North Nod is in Gemini. This is your purpose. This is what you like. This is what you came here again. To be a communicator. Your Capricorn is beautiful rising. And then, like, you come off as serious and uh, 
Um, you know what I mean? Sometimes you might just take things at word value like a dumb bitch and not know that I'm just joking with you by calling you a dumb bitch. <laughs> right? But it depends on who I'm with. Like, if it, it's people I know on the Twitter, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I know. But <laughs> right, see? Because might, you might come off too serious and stuff and authoritative and stuff. And also, you, but I thought it wanted you, it's all playful. <laughs> like, playful. And, um, okay, your third house is in Pisces. You can understand the language of heaven. You speak like a really cons- um, compassionate person with your words. And if I you're still. Say conservative and I'm no, like, you're not a conservative. You're <laughs> out there and you're going to be yourself, anyways. Because you're going to be yourself no matter what. People might not want to see you as yourself or be aggressive as yourself, but you're going to do it no matter what. And you have to rebel to be it. Because who else is going to be it? Because that's dumb of them to just let you not be it and try to take that away from you. But you will keep trying to be yourself. But it'll be a little process of rebellion. Just to be yourself. Just to be yourself. It's retarded because you're a little less yeah. than an Aquarius. That's the same thing as me. <laughs> okay, you're not 10th house Scorpio chaos. You're 10th house Libra. Everyone's going to know your partner. Everyone's going to think that you're going to get married. Like, every, like when you post a picture of someone with you on YouTube or like on Facebook or wherever, social media or anything... Your public figure and your reputation is that you're with somebody. You're always with somebody. And, it, and they think you're going to marry that person. No matter if you were with them like two weeks or a month, they think that you're going to just get married. Every single relationship, every single picture, they're going to think that you're, you know, that. You know what I mean? Seriously. How does my world not make it clear? No. Right. <laughs> and, then, and then your fourth house is in Aries. That's where your home is about yourself and stuff. And uh, you probably are a tomboy, and you like sports and stuff. And your mother put you in sports or something like that, and was aggressive I'm, with you. I'm a trans guy. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, so you're very alpha at home. <laughs> at home, when you come home, you're more alpha than you are. I was in sports time. for a while till my mom thought I was getting too tomboyish, and yeah. she was like, "No." I'm oh, good. so she had to rebel. Okay. Your fifth house is in Taurus. When you're at parties and stuff, you like to eat and enjoy your pleasurable self. And you like to be the queen bee in the, in the, in the, public, in, in the party, you know? Like, every, everyone does things, something for you. Like, you put everybody in a place, part in your life, in, in the party life scene. And Goes they. Back to when I literally told somebody to get off my foot like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay. And um, your sixth house is a Gemini. So, all day, every day, you are a communicator. An informative person, which you are just today. Hello, and that's how you help other people with your information as well, because it's a serving thing. Six houses will like polish glasses and something to mess with. Exactly. Awesome. Very good. The community, like you can help the community with that. And plus, your Saturn and Gemini mentions you're meant to be the public feature, informative, informative person. You can be psychic with that. Hello, with your mind. Mm-hmm. Okay, your your seventh house is in Cancer. These are the people that you keep on attracting. You keep on attracting. Um, um, gypsies and uh, slow people, like uh, quiet people, and but family people, like everyone wants to be your family, like all a bunch of cancer sign people, like you know what I mean? Like, everyone people... wants to be my sibling instead of my partner. <laughs> right, that's what you'll be attracting, and that's what you attract. And then it's like, then your ninth house is in Virgo. You have a perfected mind. When but when you wake up, you're just like all psychedelic hippie. But when you go to sleep, you analyze everything, and like you are OCDC and 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 just like what's it called you criticize yourself when you go to sleep or you criticize or you just you do want to learn before you go to sleep you have got to accomplish something before you go to sleep you want to do your chores before you go to sleep or you just can't sleep kind of things like that in the random middle of the night instead of sleeping right. I'm just gonna <laughs> right. learn about this specific goddess <laughs> for no reason yes I love that because that's my ninth house is an Aquarius we love to know everything before we go to bed and we can't sleep it's like a Virgo we're, we serve each other we're like mm-hmm. human beings and um your 12th house is in Sagittarius. You're happy, go lucky in your spirit. You you have lucky guru, um, spiritual abilities, I suppose. So your 11th house is in Scorpio. You're really serious with your friends, and but you kill everybody out of your life. You kick everybody out of your life like a psycho idiot, probably, and you become darkness because you're the Scorpio friend, and everyone else is like jealous of you, something like that. <laughs> your sun sign is in the. Oh you oh oh your sun sign is in no your sun sign is in Leo, but it's in the. Seventh house, so you're attracting people just like yourself, but you see yourself as different from yourself, and you see everybody else as different from you at the same time. So you're shadow something, and um, your moon signs in the third house, so your your mom is just like your siblings or something. <laughs> and and you communicate with your emotions. I don't know. Your Mercury is in 
the same house as that. Uh, the people that you communicate with, like me, like talkative freaks, and then um, your Venus is an eighth house, which means you are duper jealous and you are passionate and desirable. And it means that you accuse your partner of cheating on you, but you're the one really cheating on them. Sorry, this is my room. Let's do their thing. We're good. We're doing an interview. Okay. Oh, also, you're little because in the third house, which means you're a liar, and people don't want to see that, but you do it anyways, like a storyteller. <laughs> which, which means that's what that is. And then, and then your Saturn's in the, this is the important part, so I'm going to say this. Uh, sixth house of everyday routine. So you might have a... a health problem or allergies or just, you know, something with your health, you have to be on a strict diet and nobody else understands it. Like, you can't be around cigarette smoke and stuff because that's bullshit. It would be bad for you. It would be bad for you and me because we have the same place. But, like, it is, like, this is what your placement shows. Uh, it's what I'm into anything. And plus, obviously, your lungs, so stay away from the fucking smoke. And it's just a lesson that you have to learn the rest of your stupid life. It's going to be just fucking... Staying away from smoking. Yes, that's how I am. <laughs> that's how I am too. But um, mainly because it's the Gemini thing and it's the sixth house thing. Virgo. And then your Neptune is your rising sign, which is the spiritual. You go after spiritual things right away. Like, are you a Pisces? No. You are. It's the Neptune and Aquarius. People think you're Aquarius right away. I thought you were Aquarius -ish. somewhere in there. Somewhere floating around there was Aquarius, and that was like, wow, that was enjoyable. And it, But it's in the light of the Leo, so I'm like, even more warm. Yay. Even <laughs> more warm. Love that. Yeah, mentally warm. Hell yes. You know what I mean? Mental light. Let's see if you have any asteroids. Is this the one that shows asteroids? No, this I is have no, clue. I just, no, it's not. I remember what my son moon and rising okay. were, so I just picked a random one. Rude. And you know this already. I'm intelligent with this astrologer as well. Hello. Get I'm with just a scholar in general. Get with it. It's, it's, it's normal for you. Okay. Hey, you were the Virgo. Hi. Mm hmm. You're the Virgo, Moon and Cancer, which means you were mothered and nourished. You have a mothering and nourishing mother, though, and uh, she might be a bully. I don't know how she, but she's a mothering and nourishing person. And where does it go? Okay, and you might project your emotions out there that people might feel. Like if you have an insecurity, maybe people could feel, and you'll be like, "Why are you insecure about that?" And it's like nothing. You like have ketchup on my shirt, and you'd be like, "Is you know what I mean?" But it, your emotions would project easier to manipulate other people with or whatever and they would be heightened by your emotions because you're putting it out there and virgos themselves are hypnotizing and they can do past life regression or we can do past life regression on you because psychics can see that this is neat be around that yeah I'm, i am yeah. your mercury's in libra which means you are have a beautiful voice and um and it means you just talk with balance. And then your Venus is in Libra too, so you mean you want people to meet you halfway, but you just make them meet you all the way, <laughs> just to see prove themselves that you'll meet the halfway. And um, like you're a professional relationship person, your Mars is in Virgo. This is the most meanest, hilariousest placement. I really love it, but they're really mean to me. Like they can they can pick people in details apart, just like a Virgo does, but even worse. Like they are so mean, even contradicting or. And it's so even. Yes, exactly. It's a Virgo. But like I you can. the Mars. <laughs> like I know, right? The, the attack criticism. So I can if you make me mad. That's the best funny. thing about Virgos up is being a critical person and being a um, skeptic and finding out truths about things and being a psychologist and telling people what's practical in this arena of like. What are these beliefs are delusional? There's no there's no point of believing like anything. Anyways, because. Be gotcha. <laughs> because, because, you know, um, because there's too many things that people are wasting their time on believing, and it's ridiculous, and, it, and you have a pure mind in this, and it's like, you take this out and take that out, this is not realistic, this is ridiculous, and you'll find out the truth yourself. And they're usually, that yeah, just too practical to be even spiritual stuff, but, you know, it's actually real, so, but this is astrology. There's a difference in between astrology and psychic ability because astrology is not psychic it's a social opportunity and you know whatever and then like jupiter's in leo so you get under an attention really well and you were you get the drama show going or something like that yeah. and you have parties all the time like you're lucky with having a party being invited to parties you know what i'm saying happen your saturn's in gemini same thing with our lungs problems and well, communicating right. communicating yeah right well yeah there you go you wouldn't like um 
<laughs> they're evil. They can be evil. Um, but they're, they're, they're like the dark angel, but they're very talented and shit. Like, y'all can have multiple personalities, but it restricts you on communicating with people and communicating and uh, speaking your truth, and your dad will probably tell you to shut up, and uh, he's the one that passes you on to your siblings, and you like, you know, you would be, um, um, uh, all that way, and the stuff that I kind of told her. But, um, you know, he would, uh, he would be the liar, too. He would make you be a liar. Like, you would have to lie to him about everything. You would have to lie to him, and he would probably be a liar or something like that. And um, <laughs> and then you're a little fizz and Aries, which is what I mean, but you live now or never. You live in the moment, and you're a hero, and yeah. people don't want to see you be yourself, but you do it anyways, yeah. obviously. Mm-hmm. Because it's like be the warrior or princess and be like a, a more um, – tomboyish or something like that too and people are like no don't do that and be like I'm gonna just do it anyways who cares if it's a little bit like that mm-hmm. who cares and then your Pluto's in Sagittarius so you like to study too I guess I study stuff for Pluto well groovy very good for all that Neptune and Uranus both are in Taurus too your North Nod is in Gemini you both have the same purpose of being somebody needs to speak up about stuff and be informative and transforming okay this stone has asteroids on it let's see what her rising sun might estimately be I will look at this your estimate might be Pisces. It might be Pisces or Aries rising. People might you come off as chameleon of all the signs. And then, wait, your Mars is in Virgo. What the fuck? Oh, I forgot that. That's what I told you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're so funny. And I would want you in a war with a uh, verbal war. Even if it would be against me too, but I would love to hear the detail, the hear, right? details, the hear. horrible things that you would say to me. I've already critical of myself, so back up. But Absolutely. like, but like, you could find every critical detail about everybody and just like pick it out and just like destroy them with it because it's funny. If I'm and mad you, at you. And you could do day day routines very well and not be late and all that stuff. Yeah, if sure. you want, but you could be contradicting as fuck about it. You could be the complete opposite. You could be a hoarder with this placement. You could because you want everything to be in order and organized, but you're like you give up, and then it's like it takes too many days to be organized, and now it's like I get, everything is a pile of ordering. Everything like a piece of trash, you you just collect everything because you you don't know where to put everything because you wanted to put it in order and it, you, you forgot how to do that, and then it's like how am I gonna do that? It's just gonna, and then you yell at other people thinking that it's you don't tell me how to clean my house, which is like true and you get lazy because you get burnt out thinking about the things that you need to do and want to do and you're so good at doing anyways you just get burnt out and you're like screw this and i'm gonna be a hoarder without you know you just become a snowflake and 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 there's all the things i could say about that it's really fun uh to go into that virgo stuff because a virgo is so like we all need virgos in this freaking world that's why they are the star for other people and until it it's really cool, but oh well. Anyways. <laughs> I mean, a Virgo just has to be shut up and shut up. <laughs> also, it means that you're not that, as very sexual like it, but you know you have the Virgos all have that talent up in the mouth because they're perfectionists, and they have, they're they serving the other person. They want to make the other person feel good, and yep. they do, and they are the best at it, but they're contradicting, then they will make the other person do the thing to them. Uh, and all the time, and they like turn into a product, you know, like to sell things and be a scam artist and all this crazy about that. But like, does it there used to be a farmer in this? So, clueless. Okay, toodles. <laughs> Groovy. Okay. okay, what I picked up on was this little kid who had like brown hair and it was short up to here or something. And I was thinking if it was your daughter or your sister or whatever, but you said you had a sister that had a daughter that looked like that, I guess. Y'all she can't. Oh, she's long hair. Well, damn. Like, down in here now? I don't know. Maybe it's the past of her. I don't know. Does she look more like you, though? She does, yeah. Does she have blue eyes? Yes. No, she has brown eyes. She has brown eyes? Okay, is there... Uh, well, that's a different... This is a different girl, I guess. This girl... Well, there are two different girls. I saw that one that looks just like you with brown eyes and brown hair. Okay. That was the beginning. But this time, now I'm seeing a girl... With long hair down here and she has blue eyes. And it's straight, really straight hair. And a red shirt on, I don't know if it was. She's like a little bit tall, like a kid. I don't know. Do you know anybody like that? Or is it a friend or not? Okay, let's forget that shit. No, I'm curious. Do, do you have any products and stuff? Or um, pets like that? I don't know. It's something like I'm just seeing. I just say what I see. And if you. If, if no, it's, I mean, I could definitely play into the later when there's a lot going on. Um, 
put on a helmet and um, some other dude. Is that your brother? You have a brother? One brother that looked like you? Where, did yeah, he, yeah. And he's really tall. Yeah. And um, he, um, I don't know if this can hear me. And uh, he, um, his last time I recorded it, wouldn't record the noise. Okay, uh, and something about a helmet. Did you use your brother's helmet? Does your brother have a helmet? My brother um, got beat up really bad when he was going in to his like, 20 <coughs> Did he have glasses? <clears throat> and uh, was he a truck driver or something? Did y'all work My at the? Grandpa was did Does he have a a a, a short mullet? And it's gray and white, it's gray and white, and he, he has a longer face. You know what I'm saying? And um, he was a truck driver. That's yeah. His, yeah. And he also had a blue truck too, like just a regular one or something. A green one. Well, then I'm fucking. I don't know. Not getting anywhere yet. Um, okay. Um, he wanted to take martial arts or something, or not? I guess I have no clue. Whoever. Okay, so your brother. It's all a mix. Um. Oh, okay. So is that the dead person that wanted to martial arts? Okay, um, um, This is my little um, survey I have for people because this is my experience and I want to know what other people's uh, areas other people's would be. Okay, um, so if a spirit had a box in its hand and it said, take it, take it, take it, take it, like just showed up in your room and said, take it, take it, take it, what would you do? Right, and then, like, it was, like, desperate to give it to you. How would you say it was good? Right, I mean, yes, okay, and then, what would you do if an angel had a ball of light and it was going to give it to you? Well, what would you do? I would probably say I'm not the one for that. Okay, okay, what would you do if a demon said, I can make you powerful? I would say I can make myself powerful. Exactly, you win, ding, 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 those are the exact things that... I did. I said no to every one of those motherfuckers. Because you can't trust it. You don't even know if the angel is a, a fallen angel anyways. Even if it had wings. Because that's all I see with those uh, types. Um, but that's cool. You did the right thing. Most people don't even want to ask, what is it? You know, what, you know. that's what I asked the angel. I was like, what is it? You know? And the person who actually has angels around them, they don't even record it or nothing, uh, said, oh, I always accept gifts from them. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well then... You accept the gift and see what it is. Right. And, and then once she did that, the ball of light went into her mouth and lit up her eyes and then lit up her higher self, I guess. And it was it was dressed in jewels, but she oh. was dressed in rags as a human, you know? Yeah. That's so fucking weird. But you never know if those jewels are going to just keep, you know, like a labyrinth. Right. I mean, like, it's what tends to lead the dream. Yeah, if anything. Um... I mean, and then, um, who knows if they own you because they gave you something or something, and it's like a curse or something, who knows, because yeah. energy just, like, dissolves and you can't see it anymore once it, like, is in you, and, and then once you get that side again, you can see it, so who knows, really, what that would be, because, yeah, because that's just the situation, anyways, here we go, Sing. I do not sing. I'm Ursula from Little Mermaid. And oh, you're I, I, I do not sing. Sing. You picked the wrong person.